Hello everyone, uh, this is Quadrox, this is my second uh, replay commentary for Spellforce 3 Versus. This time it will be Trolls Against Humans, and uh, as the game loads I'm switching into free mode. Uh, my opponent this time is uh, Rising Sun, uh, he played in a Diamond League, and this is absolute best for me, uh, being in Gold League right now, it's uh, a personal achievement to beat somebody from Diamond, and I think he's also Diamond in SC2, so he's he's pretty good player. Immediately sending Scout uh, to see where I am, taking Wolfguard Commander, and me as a troll player taking Plaguebringer. The build order was uh, the same, starting with two hunting huts, then uh, two tree choppers, two stone breakers, and another two tree choppers. I'm not sending any scouts uh, in a early game because I don't know how to adjust my play based on what I see. I'm very new to this game still, and uh, I'm just trying to play more passively and learn as I go for what to scout and what I should expect eventually but uh, right now I'm not at this stage so uh, I took this first sector uh, immediately going into the next one and then I'll go around in this uh, way to take another sector so I'm not sure which path is the best uh, but I prefer this one just to take this corner sector and not try to defend it against people who steal sectors in the beginning. Although I miss some time not creeping doing those two. And Rising Sun is not losing any time, he's taking uh, the sectors with monsters first and then I think he'll proceed with empty sectors or either uh, go to next creeping camp. So now he has pretty good idea of where I am on the map. Uh, scouted me, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe it was a misclick, gathering those undeads, or there is a plan around this. He's taking this empty sector to be on the map, uh, to be in the center. I'm starting my, should be starting my Smasher production, I think. Yeah, I have some food, one Smasher should be making. Not notice, no, my one Smasher is already done, so second one is making. All good. As for Rising Sun, he is taking all the center sectors and then proceeding immediately to the creep camp. And I like this approach uh, because here uh, you see those two sectors that he didn't even go to because they are, there are no creeps. They are already protected by this uh, sector. So I, I should adjust my path in as well next time. So let's see uh, for the hero levels. Uh, Rising Sun has level 3. I'm also at level 3, uh, but I think his experience is a bit higher. Should be higher than mine. Because, let's see, yeah, it's almost 4. And for me, it's just level 3. Because he's doing creep camps first, not wasting any time. Now there is a cute move uh, you can do with a uh, horseman, you pull those undeads and then they immediately attack this sector. And I have to pull back, stop my creeping and try to take out those undeads very early. It's a strong camp, you see uh, I have all my units damaged at this point and uh, they lose HP very quickly. I'm trying to count on this sector upgrade, but it's also close uh, to be denied because Undead's attacking it and they have a lot of damage for this HP. Okay, 
He's taking this camp pretty safely, so he, he's doing uh, Rising Sun, he's uh, doing easy camps to get some free experience and then uh, not building any army yet to go to this uh, eco advantage later on if you don't build uh, army in the beginning like this is three three guys is not an army you can invest in uh, more sectors more upgrades for those sectors and uh, then you can explode with the army later on that's how macro works in this game he's taking the top sector here as well to kind of be on the map you see he's uh, taking control of this area, kind of wanted to take this area as well from me, uh, leaving me only to my side of the map. So I could not expand freely. And still creeping uh, while I uh, decide to take on that space. I'm still level 3, uh, he's at level 4 already, so creep wise is doing much better job than me now going into this uh, oh he, he's not doing it going through the godstone i thought he was going to purchase some items from the merchant here but he didn't do it he should have gold let's see what he has uh, in terms of items nothing yet myself either just creeping so um, now I'm at level 4 with uh, very damaged smashers. There's even one undead left. I'm not sure how uh, creep AI works yet, so uh, sometimes it targets uh, the weakened units, sometimes not. It's something I'll have to learn later. So in general our, our styles are matching here, I'm also uh, not going for a huge army and just uh, those 5 smashers to get easier creeping, to not die in the beginning, it's kind of a safe build. And meanwhile I'm upgrading more sectors, getting my... should be getting my scrap soon to upgrade <coughs> the main sector as well. To tier 2 and have more higher tech units. Now Rising Sun decides to uh, deny this side of the map because he knows I'm there and I couldn't be uh, as fast to defend this location. Very wise move. Taking out this undead. I thought he is dead already, but I guess I missed it. And knowing he's on that part of the map, I'm deciding to deny his sector. He has some free units here. Two of them die, so this is a good exchange already. Let's see supply-wise. Uh, I'm in the lead. Like, to have twice the supply. And now he's trying to deny my eye of the tribe. It's well defended and it's been repaired. So, uh, right now we are going for base trade. He's denying my sector, I'm denying his sector. Uh, and his units are weaker, so those uh, sectors um, can do more damage to his army than he can do to mine. I decide to TP, not finishing this one, and he also TPs out. So after this exchange, let's see, he has 20 supply, I have 50 supply, so uh, roughly the same I mean, not supply-wise, but before that it was also a um, similar supply difference. So, it feels good to get this sector back. And maybe I'll start upgrading it immediately. Yes, uh, I'm doing it. Now I have some scrappers. Should have tier 2 upgraded soon. How much I have, actually. Yeah, I have 15, not enough for an upgrade, but soon I can upgrade my main sector. Uh, let's switch to free mode uh, and see what uh, human player is doing. He's taking the undead camp. 
there'll be a uh, first huge ended camp for him uh, going to level up and get level 5 here I'm also at level 5 denying his sectors he knows that I'm there now like those sectors they also provide vision on the map and um, even if you are not upgrading them having this vision is crucial and he took the right places all the right places now he denies my creeping creep jacks me but fortunately I didn't start creeping knowing he's uh, somewhere nearby he could be nearby uh, now all my army is stunned uh, I'm trying to micro it out uh, pull back my hero I'm not sure I can fight this because there is too much damage uh, I'm having uh, I'm taking right now from those stuns a lot of damaged units are not focused fired yet I, I can yeah I'm doing the plague plague should kill them but still this exchange uh, was not uh, favored for me yeah this is pretty poor exchange you see now he's 31 and I'm just 15 supply so it's just my supply plummeted and now he's in the supply lead after the fight one bad exchange it took smashers take a lot of supply and uh, losing each smasher it's a big deal unlike other uh, races that can use weaker armies I'm trying to creep this undead camp by uh, using the help of Eye of the Tribe pulling them to the building and Rising Sun immediately goes for this creep jack and deny again he has superior army, I only have two damage smashers two of them coming so I'm pretty much in crisis mode right now doing some uh, applying some plague spells now I'm getting stunned losing my hero so everything looks dire for me he takes the undead camp getting level 6 uh, I can lose more smashers here but I'm still trying to do a little bit of damage because he's focusing on the neutral camps the smasher also not attacking proper units focused was focusing on this undead without micro and everything dies here from my side I should focus fire those archers yeah right now I'm switching to focus fire to kill them off and you see right now he's at 32 supply I'm 27 uh, I have some stuff in my base I think I didn't uh, revive my hero in time, yes it just started sometimes there is a, like a bug you click to revive hero and it doesn't happen maybe through some lag or misclick and you realize it later on when it's, uh, when it's too late so I couldn't defend this sector right now I'm feeling it's basically a game over let's uh, see the map Yes, those sectors are upgraded in the center, so he has a bunch. There's a lot of sectors actually, and superior army, and just killed my sector, upgrading his in this place right away, and and this sector as well, just denying uh, two thirds on the map uh, from me. There's nothing I can do about it except uh, I have an army. Uh, I don't have a hero only now the hero is out I have some bank of stone and wood which can be useful later on but I don't have enough food to produce more right now my production is uh, starting to kick in 81 of 94 supply and rising sun is still at low supply having this food uh, excess food but unable to produce at uh, the rate he should to max out like with this food count you can get maxed out pretty fast he's not doing it maybe saving for some higher tech units I'm not sure what was the plan or just bad macro 
Now I'm just standing there. I have an idea to deny the sector, but maybe busy with some other stuff in, in the base, like managing the economy, producing, whatever. Try to snipe the sector and uh, Rising Sun upgrades it just in time to have much more armor. And I, I realized that I couldn't break it TPing out. Uh, maybe I lost somebody there, I'm not sure. But uh, certainly most of my army was TP'd back and I didn't do the damage I was looking for. The sector is still up, those two are up now. And so time is working for Rising Sun here, having this whole map. Doing it once again, uh, I think it's a bad decision because his army could be there. He just pulls them back through the Godstone. Again, I'm going for the sector snipe, realizing I couldn't do it. Let's see for the supply. I have a supply lead, so should be able to win this fight, maybe. But this hero like gets right into the middle of my army, uh, uses some spells to have AoE damage. I'm not even using Plague right now. My spell casting ability is not very good. The thing I did well here is pull Smashers into those Archer lines to get some more damage to the Archers and he's also microing them back. It's uh, very important to kill those Archers. They do a lot of damage but they don't have a lot of HP Arbalists. Now I'm getting just at level 6 where he's at level 7. At level 6 I get this uh, Corpse Troll, my ultimate ability. You can summon it from any body uh, falling on the battleground, like a corpse, I mean dead body, and um, he's pretty strong and he stays forever with you, so you can summon a bunch of them. Don't think they time out. So barely I started to pull this fight into my favor, but again I don't have uh, enough units here to just outright kill this sector. My hero gets damaged, but that's fine. I have some healing potions. Oh, and I missed that his hero uh, died there from my attack. I sniped uh, with my uh, plague orb ability. So when when unit is plagued, you do this like a fireball type of magic and it snipes the unit doing a lot of damage. It's useful on enemy heroes. Because for weak units like those it can be overkill to use this ability. Right now I'm feeling a bit better denying this sector and you see uh, Rising Sun immediately realizes what's going on here and destroys his own buildings. Those things uh, I also should learn, because if you destroy your own buildings, you get back some resources. Those are by Drali, I think. Yeah, you get back some resources and you can later use them instead of just losing stuff for nothing. Okay, I'm getting back some of the sectors. Still he has more more of the map taken, but having uh, won this fight I decided to go immediately and do some more damage, see maybe he doesn't have an army yet. But seeing those birds and standing army I decide to pull back. Maybe I had a chance there, especially um, against... I, I didn't know if his hero... Uh, was retrieved already, so I thought that there might be no hero. But the thing is with smashers that don't attack air at all. And there are birds, which are air units, like griffins, I think. Griffins, okay. Uh, so they have ground attacks, so I need some units that can shoot up. And now I'm doing just that, building some throwers. And the thing with my build is somehow I got 
a lot of food units and uh, saved up some stone and wood at the time and just coincidentally I think I had uh, this huge bank of stone and wood and without uh, like we, having a standing army like that I can just upgrade them for all those money into spike flingers and what else uh, the melee unit that can mm, be upgraded from smasher forgot the name anyway upgrade some melee units as well skull crushers there uh, the only thing I don't have is a lot of scrap uh, if my scrap was at, was at 200 I could have much more much stronger army right now the scrap is the bottleneck here and I'm maxed out at 200 supply, uh, whereas uh, Rising Sun right now is only at 83 out of 90. He used up all of his food, so the count was on the birds, I think. Uh, more higher tech units. Infantrymen still are kind of upgraded. They look upgraded, maybe. Uh, there is some kind of an upgrade for them. They look differently. And yeah, so a Rising Sun right now, after losing the, the fight, does not have any more uh, of this food bank to remax and get into 200 supply to max supply. He's not taking any more sectors trying to deny uh, me from the center base, but having a lot of uh, spike flingers, you see how those birds does not do not stand any chance and this position was pretty good to fight in because I had a lot of spike flingers and I had this building right in front so uh, he just pushed in without having the necessary um, positional advantage to do this fight properly right now I'm donating some units because spike flingers were stuck there you should move them forward, yeah, I'm doing that right now, and they're not attacking this army, so it's all over the place. Right now I could have lost uh, if he didn't lose some army before with that attack. He has some ground, he does a huge stun to all those spike flingers, but having such a huge supply advantage over him, yeah, it's just... 10 supply whatever and here is dying um, basically finishing all this game now the hero is dead he's out of supply trying to focus my hero but realizing he's unable to do it and just gg's out so that was a game against uh, somebody from diamond league but still this game is new so it's kind of inflated if you get into higher leagues uh, early on um, you can still lose to lower league players 